coffee. Do you want that coffee? Starting elevation 10,111. Brainerd Lake Trailhead, Winter Trailhead to do Mount Audubon. First yeah. You want it? Yes, March 13th, 2010. We're going that way. I think it's a six miles round trip. We're going to camp overnight. Six miles round trip? Six miles one way. Oh, okay. Should be a Should be a blast, right, baby? Yes. Sir. Yes. All right, let's do it. Mrs. R. Shamo, tell me what that is behind you. Mount Audubon, Indian Peaks Wilderness. That's our first view. It's a gorgeous effing day for a hike. And uh, how long have we been going for? Maybe an eighth of a mile. And I'm almost, I'm dying. She's gonna make the top of that bastard. Let's get him moving. I'm tired. And there's Audubon. We're almost to the Mitchell Lake Trailhead. There's the east face. Or I'm sorry, the south face. There's the summit. And I believe that that is Paiute Peak, but from here I can't be for sure. And without my map that I forgot in the car, I don't know what these hills are, but. And there's Jeanette. We are taking a break, taking pictures. Mountain snow topping off our water because we're drinking it like crazy. There's the, the Snow Peak Giga Power stove. Oh, it's just a getting ready to throw on the snowshoes because we're getting away from the trail that's been packed really well. And How? Tell the camera you got us lost, kind of. Oop. I didn't get us lost. I have it recording. Asshole on cross country skis again. So. <laughs> and we had to climb like. We followed the only trail coming out of the trailhead. Apparently, it didn't go the right way. So now we're setting up camp. But look how high up we are. I guess that doesn't really give me justice here. There's the lake down there. Frozen lake. And it's not windy right now. Because as you see, I don't know if you can, there's lots of drifts. We're in like a wave of crashing drifts. Yes, we are. This is not, oh yeah. No avalanches here, right? Nope. Okay. All right. Signing off. Lights down there are Denver. Here's our view. Going up here is the Newo Ridge. Again, not sure the mountain behind it that one but that one right there I know is a rickery peak Oop. I'm on unstable ground here so here's our, here's our view and of course Audubon We're a little above 11,000 feet, but and here's what we have to the back. Jen's in there somewhere in her sleeping bag, still making water. But my hand's freezing, so I'm signing off. There's Jeanette. Here I am. Turns out that you can take a North Face Trinity sleeping bag unzip it and zip it into another so we've been able to stay warm together in the tent all night well warm is a relative term one lesson learned from this trip is that uh, if you're gonna be sleeping on snow you should have an air pad sleeping pad of some kind because 
Yeah, no matter how many layers of clothes or jackets you put underneath you, the cold from the snow still comes right up through. Another lesson is that route finding is winter. Route finding in winter can be a little difficult. Because uh, we're not on the trail right now. So, yeah. But it's about 3.15, 3.20 in the morning. Nice and cold. Clouds are finally moving in. So first thing in the morning, we're going to eat and get the hell back down to the car. Rather than try and go for the top and get caught in a snowstorm. But... Say, say hi, baby. Misery. Mm. Yeah, we're both pretty miserable. I'm tired. I'm tired. Can't sleep because it's cold. I don't know how well any of this can be seen on camera. But we can't see it too well here. There's snow moving in pretty quick. The clouds are dropping down the side of the mountain pretty quick. The visibility's not great. So this morning, the sun was shining right there nice and bright. Now, within about five minutes of waking up, it went away and it was shining through a cloud. That's what we're Heading down to, I'm, I don't think this can be seen too well, but anyway, we're getting out of here and uh, getting back to the car because we feel, don't don't feel like getting caught out in a snowstorm with no visibility. So we figured out that it was so bright because I had the night vision on, but we are down a little farther now and the clouds are still coming on down. Here is the class two, maybe three that we just down climbed to avoid going all the way around that way. Uh, we actually went up that way too though, so. You are going too fast. Huh? You didn't show the rocks very well. Oh, my bad. It was fun. Got up it in 15 minutes and down them probably the same. So there goes Jeanette. What? My gloves! Uh, whoa, really? That's really weird that I just now started filming too. Hey. Jeanette lost her gloves yesterday. And I just, I swear that was a coincidence. I did not record and then have her walk up on them. They were... So I turned around, I was like, I didn't know if you saw them. No, I thought you were taking a break and turn around and smile at me. No. Yeah. Woohoo! The lost gloves have been recovered. Where should I put them? Um, clip them onto your shit. Here, I'll turn the camera. Bunch of snow drifted on the tree. <laughs> you would go right and try to ruin it. <laughs> I'm tired. It's pretty cool though. Big old mushroom looking snow drifts. <laughs> on a dead fall and then a little bit of a small live tree right there. Okay, here we go. Follow. Okay, I'll catch up. Okay. Jeanette is feeding camp robbers. We've got branded leg to ourselves this morning at about nine o'clock or so. We're Making some more water, we're, we're out. We just finished it off, so we stopped here to make some more for our two mile hike back to the car. She's feeding the, the, the Jays. So the Nero Ridge is right there. Behind it yesterday was Kiowa Peak. Then the little pyramid shaped one was Navajo Peak, then Apache, that's Shoshone. You can't make out Paiute Peak or the top of Audubon right now, but there's the south face of Audubon. Up in the clouds. It's a little chilly, the wind's blowing. We're staying warm. Right, baby? I'm cold. 
Okay, she's cold. <laughs>